Hey, what's up? So for a while now, I've wanted to make my own 2D physics engine. Now making like a robust 2D physics engine is a huge task and for my purposes, it's not even really worth making at all. However, I thought it would be fun to make a simple particle physics simulation. So what do I mean by a particle physics simulation? Basically, I create a particle object that has very simple rules. So for example, if it is this distance away from another particle, it moves towards it. If it is this distance away from a particle, it moves away from it. The rules can be tampered with and little changes can have some pretty cool visual effects. All right, let's actually get into it. First, I just wanna test if I can get a simple gravity-like behavior from the particles. Okay, they are a little small, let's make them bigger. Also, let's add some more so it's easier to see what's going on. The gravity is bad here. Basically, the particles only choose one particle to go towards and completely ignore the other ones. Okay, that is better. You can see that the particles almost form into clumps and actually pull and are pulled by other particles. Now let's make the particles start closer together so they don't rip right past each other as easily. Great. Now let's add a few more to test the performance. 200 was good. Now what about 1,000? Okay, good. How about 2,000? Okay, it might look a little laggy because I'm recording at 30 frames per second, but actually that wasn't bad at all. Let's add a repulsive force. Interesting. They seem to stick together a little better. Let's try adding some friction to make them a little more stable. Okay, well they are more stable, but the friction is bad. If the particles are close to each other, you can see they receive a global friction. And this friction slows forces applied to them by other particles, and this is not good. Let's try something new. Okay, better, but not perfect. That is pretty cool. Friction is still bad though. The particles should be able to be accelerated, but they seem to have a hard cap. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now the particles can accelerate just fine. Let's add a cap to their speed. If they go too fast, their velocity will be dampened. Okay, let's make it so we can add particles by dragging the mouse across the screen. You can see that when too many particles are added, the ball becomes unstable. Let's see if we can fix this. I based the distance at which they pull and push each other by the number of particles. While this is a cool effect, I only want each individual clump to push harder on its respective particles, not any other particle in the simulation. Let's try a few more tweaks to see if we can fix this. Uh, nope. Let's see if they will act like water droplets. I will just add some boundaries and gravity to see what happens. No. The clumping is kind of weird. All the clumps of particles want to stay the same size, regardless of the number of particles they contain. Let's take away the pulling forces so the particles only repel each other. No, this does not work at all. Now let's add back the pulling forces with the smaller pulling radius I gave to the particles. Okay, apparently I just made snot. I'm going to go back a few steps and take away the gravity again. This is interesting. They bounce off the walls even though I did not hard code that behavior into the simulation. The simple rules behind each particle can lead to somewhat complicated behaviors when they all interact with each other. I kind of like this. We are still having the issue of the groups of particles always wanting to stay the same size. Let's make the pushing forces much stronger to see what happens. This acts like mashed potatoes or something. It kind of keeps its shape until it's mushed. Under the right circumstances, these blobs could be torn apart. Let's make the radius in which the particles react with each other smaller. That looks like microbiology. Let's make them more sticky so they hold together better. Okay, I like this. Well, I think that's a wrap for this video. I have other projects I want to work on pretty soon. Right now I'm getting into neural networks and stuff. I even made an AI that can play Flappy Bird. And yes, this is actually the computer playing and not me, I promise. I didn't make a video on this one because there's a lot of other videos on YouTube about AIs that can play Flappy Bird. But I have some other ideas for games that AIs can play that should be pretty cool. See you in the next video. Oh yeah, check out my app Skybomb on the Google Play Store. The link is in the description.